Hello, my name is Snowlight. This is my Warcraft University, a YouTube series intended to give new and mid-tier players simple concepts towards playing World of Warcraft at a higher level. In this video, we will be discussing the user interface, part two, base UI improvements. In this lesson, we'll be going over some of the settings available right away from the moment you first log in. Making some of these changes will set you up for success throughout your Warcraft career, so they are very important to review even from the start of your Warcraft journey. To that end, I have created a new character and reset my UI so you can follow along with me. In order to get to these settings, press the escape key on your keyboard. This will open the main menu. From here, click on the interface button, which will open the settings for the interface. Next, you should find a checkbox for auto loot. Go ahead and check this now. This will update your in-game settings so that you will automatically store loot that you pick up in-game into your bags without having to click on each one. Now let's switch tabs to the Action Bars tab. This is where we will add additional bars to the screen so that we have more spells or abilities readily available to use on our adventures. Go ahead and click the checkbox for each one as demonstrated here. On the base UI, there is also a hidden action bar that is not readily available on the default UI, as shown by clicking the up or down arrow here. I do not recommend using this unless you have an add-on installed to allow this extra bar to be shown, along with all the others. We will discuss that in another video. Back in the interface settings, you have the option to always show action bars, as I am demonstrating here. This option toggles off and back on the empty slots on your action bars, but has no effect on the abilities you have already placed in your bars. When placing a new ability on your bars, all of the empty slots will appear temporarily and then revert to hidden mode once you have placed the ability. Whether you have this functionality toggled on or off is up to your preference. Another useful feature is the Show Numbers for Cooldowns option. This will give you a countdown timer for the remaining cooldown duration of an ability, the remaining time in seconds until that ability can be used again. I recommend this feature to be used by all players. Next up, in the Combat tab, select the checkbox for Target of Target. If you are already targeting another character in the game, as demonstrated by my friend Gelato here, this feature will show you what that character is targeting. While this is more useful for endgame content, I recommend turning it on right away so you are comfortable with how it works. Of note, you can see as Gelato changes targets that it reflects on my UI as well, which is a useful feature for tank characters. I will go into more detail on this in a future video. The Mature Language Filter is recommended for younger players and streamers that display their screens publicly while playing Warcraft, but others may prefer to turn this feature off. And finally, the Camera Follow Styles feature has a drop-down menu with four options, each of which will fit different playstyles. While we will go into depth on the camera functionality in its own video, I will demonstrate quickly the functionality of each of the options here, so you can see what each one does. Feel free to experiment with each option on your own screen. We have now covered some of the most useful changes to the default UI. Feel free to investigate further throughout the interface settings, or look into what other settings are available. In the next video, we will go into replacing the user interface with LVUI and a few tips for using this powerful interface add-on. That will wrap it up for this topic. If you found this useful, please leave a like on the video or a comment with any questions or ideas so we can continue to work on this series. The subscribe button and the bell are there so you can see when new videos come out, if that is your desire. 
As always, please be positive in your guilds and help make WoW a fun place for everyone to play. Goodbye for now.